Sunday morning, we just got done with church. We are here at Extra Space Storage in Irving, Texas. Back at the $1,160 unit, y'all. Let me know down in the comments right now, how sweet is this unit? All right, guys, so check it out. We still have some stuff on this side. A lot of the stuff back here is just empty boxes and trash and stuff like that that we went through at the house. We already start. We already took a lot of the inventory back to the house. It's already being prepared for auction. That auction will be up this week. The link to our high bid uh, auction is down in the comments and every one of our videos, so check that out. Uh, check back frequently because everything starts at a dollar. No reserve. It's going to be a fantastic auction. Here's the plan. I have my buddy Adrian coming out here right now because um, there's a lot of stuff that I don't consider collectible, uh, but it is still sellable. This was a huge blessing, and y'all know the deal. If, if the Lord blesses me real big like he does all the time on these units, I'm not going to just donate or give away the good sellable stuff. I literally have been giving away thousands and thousands of dollars worth of sellable product. Why? Because that's just how life should be. Like, you don't need to be greedy. Share. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna clean this little section up real quick. Let me and Gina get to work. I'm gonna clean this section. I'm gonna go ahead and throw any trash just on the truck because we've got to run to the dump tomorrow. So we're gonna start, just get a, or we'll go right here. We'll get this little area clean. That way we can start stacking it nice and neat, all the sellable stuff that we're gonna give away to another reseller. And then that way when we come back that uh, we can kind of sweep it out, just be a lot easier. So let us get started and then we'll get to unboxing. this cleaned up so this is all good sellable product this is the stuff even like the nice lamps and stuff like that that's the stuff that i can get so now you can kind of get a little clearer picture of what we're working with so halfway down that wall we haven't gone through and this whole back corner we haven't gone through and this side over here it looks like it but i just threw empty box lids on the top so hey let's do some unboxing real quick we found some really cool stuff some different stuff that i'm pretty pumped about all right y'all who remembers gatano Y'all, y'all remember these? Look at this. They was almost MC Hammer pants. I know. But they gotta be uh, elastic down at the bottom. You know how I know that? Cause the first time I ever got put in handcuffs in the back of the police cars when I was 10 years old, Plano, Texas. It used to be a uh, a food line. It's a Goodwill that I frequent often. I was banned from that store when it was a food line. You think it still stands? Anyway, I tried to steal comic books. So here's what happened. So I had my MC Hammer pants on. It was 1990. It was Plano. It was a. Uh, it was a. It was a not too warm, not too cool day. I remember because we walked there, and these. So I put them in the elastic, right? And then when the manager he came up the road, he said, "Hey, where'd you put them comic books? Come here." And I said, "Oh, they're over here." And y'all, you know, I was 10. I was such a bad kid. And I ran around the corner, and when I tried to pull them out, it slipped down in my pant leg. But they were so tight, y'all remember the Ammer pants? So I, I couldn't pull it through there, and I couldn't reach down far enough to pull it out. That's how I got busted. So the moral of the story is, is if you're in a shop with comic books, don't wear Ammer pants. All right, y'all, look, there's just some different stuff. I want to show y'all different stuff. This is old Fisher Price, y'all, kid stuff. That's like a little sweat outfit. Yeah, Brand new in the cute. package. Look at all of these cutenesses. Oh, that's Gerber. So look, there's a whole bag of those. We're going to throw those on this side because we do have some sellable stuff in here. Gina found these, look, old school Girl Scout stuff with the They're tags. Mm, it's gently cool, used. Y'all, yeah. yeah, I found these in a, a different box. All right, I'm not going to tell you who it is. What action figure is this? It was a movie, not you. I already told you. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, I love that movie. 1992, big block. I think it was a blockbuster hit. I Actually, I think it was groundbreaking when it came out in the theater. But y'all let me know down in the comments, who is this? What movie did it come from? All right, y'all, look at this. This is the kind of stuff so we're cool. calling, y'all. I love this. This is a 1996, perfect condition almost. Uh, look at that. It's even got the tags and the coupons and stuff, y'all. 
that's so freaking killer we got that and just look there was a a bag i thought was jewelry it's these like button uh cover sets and then there was it's very 90s yeah it's a it's personalized though uh that's plated but <clears throat> look down here just a bunch of randomness stuff like this was just random boxes is that short strawberry shortcake that's hat? that's what i was wondering i think that is oh yeah hair dryer all kinds of stuff oh this down here y'all it's right on top where this one? Oh, yeah. oh yeah i haven't gone through that box i saw this on top i said i gotta record that y'all that's olympics that's so cool so let's see what year this is 1995 warner brothers olympic tweety shirt okay y'all look there's just like it's just so random like bingo these are so cool who used to love these little toys when you was a kid the little drummer one so cute look let's see the test is is the battery thing all nasty and corroded oh it's not yeah, well these weren't made very well this you probably ditched off to china to make them they didn't put the best quality in them so i always check them for uh, battery corrosion all right y'all check this out yo we actually might have some of this stuff look at this cabbage patch stuff more oh. new old stock cabbage patch stuff Crazy. look at these yep doll clothes for your cabbage patch uh more. oh several looks like the scottish ones oh there's several of these oh these are for like the uh the world that remember i, I did oh, some research on yeah, them i remember so these go to some of those those dolls maybe that didn't have clothes on them and then oh man we got a whole another bag y'all so i mean we got we gotta have like at least three or four grand new like old stock cabbage patch i stuff. know Gra graduation teddy all right all right y'all look this is a box of like new new old stock kids clothes oh look there's a lot of disney stuff yeah look this has got bugs tigger uh looks like winnie the pooh, winnie the pooh. That's so look cute. at that how cute is this what year it is 1994 yeah so like everything's like 80s to like mid 90s is what most of the stuff is these clothes are i mean these aren't getting donated those are highly collectible oh all right this was sitting on the floor oh there it goes a little corroded uh oh what we got in hand got some comics or something oh sorry sorry oh you remember That's these yes. you remember those who remembers that you draw on there? Bam! <laughs> All right, let's see what's down here. Oh, we'll keep that big old uh, Bible trivia. Yep. This I'm just gonna take to the trash. I did make a deal with uh, my buddy that I was like, hey, if I give you all this stuff, there's gonna be not a lot of trash, but some trash you gotta take it. That's a fair deal. I mean, you're getting thousands of dollars in new stuff. And you just gotta take, you know, 20 boxes of trash. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to look this stuff up. I saw some of these. These are like old pajama sets. These oh, remind me of my fun. grandpa. Yeah. Like, there's tons of them in here. But look, don't just... What's that say? Andover Trail. Yo, look at that. Look, you get some old school 1990s pajamas. All right, y'all, look. Next box down, same thing. New old stock clothes. Laguna. Y'all, you know what I hope to find in here? What? Hypercolor. Do you remember Hypercolor? Oh, they changed colors? Yeah, you breathe on it and stuff and like spell stuff <laughs> out on people's names and stuff like that. But yeah, hyper color would be awesome to find. All right, I'll see this one. It just says small containers. I'll show you this not. Ta oh, it's going to be toys. Toys. How exciting. Looks like he had, oh, Chuck E. Cheese. Okay. Oh, oh so okay. okay. These are all Chuck those E. Cheese. Cool. Uh, let's see what else he's got in here. Be cool if he had some action figures. So let's see what kind he's got in here. Maybe he found, oh, you know what? Maybe there's some treasure hunts in here. You know what? Maybe he put some of the, the special ones in the plastic. Guys, this one down at the bottom says keep. Is this where the treasure hunts are? The Jaguar, I gotta look this up, see if these are any good. Mini truck, Porsche, the Gleam Team edition. So I'm not sure why he wanted to keep these. There's so many variants and additions that, look, I need to be in front of a computer to give you good solid feedback. All right, guys, let's do a couple more boxes. Uh, my buddy's here that I'm giving all this stuff to, but while he's parking, these are some of the boxes we didn't get to. This was back in the boy toy section. 
Oh uh, yeah, I love Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes, awesome. All right, so we got a Looney Tune earmuffs. That's kind of cool. Ooh, insect. That's kind of neat. Look down in here. I mean, he just put everything back in the package, y'all. Like every. Oh look, jewelry. Oh, oh yeah. Hey. What? Oh. Ooh. Those are oh those are older. Those say seventies on them. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, little bonus set. earring necklace actions. Let's see. Uh, we have a bunch more. Oh, y'all, we found Polly Pockets. We like, did. Polly Pockets in the packages. Look at these. Oh, that's cute. Double hair fun. Look, there's so much stuff in here. Okay, let's see what's down here. Oh, these are more Yo Yogi's. Oh, no, but there are more. Uh, Hunchback. These are those, we found the Yo Yogi one. We did. So these have to be what, mid 90s then, right? Uh -huh. All right, so these are all new. All right, y'all, check this out. We haven't gone through these. These are all Hot Wheel boxes. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more cases of Hot Wheels. Let's see what's in this bad boy. We still ain't found the, uh, the action figures we want, but we still got a lot to go through. All right, y'all, let's peek in some of these that we haven't peeked in yet. This, these say Key. 1990 series and Pants something series. So he's got all these... Look at this. Wrapped up in there. First set, uh, ter terrific series or whatever. So look, these are gonna be so easy to sell I know. because we're gonna be able to lot these. That's the description. Yeah. Right there, we're gonna sell <laughs> these as a complete set. Um, so guys, be watching. That auction will be up in about two days. This one says twenty or fifty second edition. Or something. Look at these, y'all. Oh wow. So many of these buses. Uh -huh. See, we're gonna have to make so many different. What? Lots of these because we have a, a, lots of duplicates of stuff. But I mean, this is just fantastic. These cards are in really great shape until I get a hold of them. All right, 1998 keep for five years. Oh, he was buying. He was, he was putting these back to make this stuff more collectible. Yeah. He was smart. He was smart. So he said he bought all these and uh, basically packed them away for five years. So he could get a little bit of a premium on it. Look, that's Bug and Taxi. That's pretty cool. The Baja Bug. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. We got a little bit of first edition Fathom This. It's pretty cool. All right, so what we'll try to do is, is maybe do like the full like 40 car run or something like that. So we'll, we'll put some work into uh, definitely lotting these perfectly. All right, y'all, check this stuff out. This was down on the bottom. Like, that's old school shears. Brand new. That was 50 bucks back in the day. A little tool set. Again, like, just new clothes. Like, he was just out buying, buying stuff, packing it away. What is that? Is that Looney Tunes? No. Hawaiian stuff. But you can just tell that, that 80s, yeah. 80s vibe. All right, y'all, look. Just more Barbies. That's what most of this stuff is. But I want to show y'all this because... There's the Aladdin one that's sealed. It's got Jasmine, a little Purple Passion. That was one of my nicknames in high school. Oh, more it's Purple, purple Passion. passion. Uh, and then we got the Songbird and Uno Moss. To my white viewers, that means one more. Uh, <laughs> and there's that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at this, that's a Lionel watch oh that is cool it's like still that. oh look there's multiples in here oh wow they, look at all they're these different kinds, yeah they're yeah. all they're all different kind of watches uh here's another lionel train oh look lionel train okay we got lionel train pocket watches there's multiple in here generation next pepsi barbie uh let's see what else we got down here oh that's another generation and then we got a big hot wheel Oh no! There's, oh, are these watches the Hot Wheels watches? Ooh, they are. They are. That's yeah, I think cool. I cut my finger open. I think I ripped it back Ouch. open. It's you hurting pretty it bad. Y'all look at that. That's really cool. These are pretty sick. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just finish these. Actually, let's finish these last two boxes back here. Okay. Let's. Oh, we got Star Wars. Do we really? It's newer, but. Still Star Wars. It's still Star Wars. Oh, the electronic community. Yeah, look, we got Darth Maul. Oh, these are the uh, are these the pewter ones. I don't know. Oh no, these light up. Those the figures actually light up. There's uh, is that another Darth Maul? No, that's uh, Obi Wan or Qui Gon. I don't know how you say it. Qui Gon. 
people. Uh, yeah, Darth Vader. <laughs> oh, look, these, these are all more of these. And then in here, we got a Robots for Everyone Cubics. I remember these. Connor. <gasps> that came out in 2001. Oh, this looks like maybe a box for him. But y'all, we gotta go through the old electronics. Look, this is cool. I know. Look, radios. This is brand new. This is a professional manicure set. Uh, oh, look at this. Vacuum. Actually, let's do this first. Expandable radio. Uh, it's a cooler. Cooler lunch yeah. bo back box thing. Can you speak? Dickie's belt buckle sets. Uh, some kind of keychain. Flashlight sets. Matchbox sets. And look at that. Big old vacuum bottle and mug set. We're going to end this one. It's old dishes. Y'all, this is like the fourth box that didn't have like new stuff in it. That's wild. All right, guys. So, hey, hope you enjoyed part three of this fantastic $1,160 10 by 30 here in Irving, Texas. Make sure to be back here tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Central for part four. It's only going to get better.